Gary Blackwood is part of the NASA team that discovered the planet. Thank you for joining us here on TRT World. So how significant is this discovery? Oh, the discovery is very significant. This is a big step forward, as the administrator, uh, associate administrator said. And this is the most number of uh, Earth-sized planets uh, discovered around one star. And not only that, we found three in the habitable zone where liquid water might exist. It's very significant. So what went into this discovery? Can you describe the journey it took to get to this point? The discovery uh, uh, started with a team of ground-based astronomers that used ground-based telescopes to uh, study a nearby red M star. The uh, star was interesting enough to be followed up by the Spitzer Space Telescope. And Spitzer confirmed those two planets and found five more, bringing the total to seven. And not only that, they were able to uh, um, study the orbital periods of the planets and be able to learn their sizes and their masses, which what makes it significant in terms of the scientific discovery, all those data on this one system. So could that mean there's another planet apart from the Earth that could be habitable? Well, that's uh, certainly a possibility. And that's the big question that NASA is studying. Uh, are there other habitable worlds out there? And um, are they potentially showing signs of life? And uh, a system like this reminds us that the galaxy is not only potentially, but actually abundant with planets the size of Earth and the density of Earth that could potentially have water. And those would be the questions that scientists will be studying uh, for this system and others like it. Are these worlds uh, potentially habitable? Do they show signs of liquid water or an atmosphere? So that will be the next phase now. How will you look for that? The next step will be uh, scientists will turn just about every telescope uh, that's available onto this system to try to learn more. The next big step will come from the James Webb Space Telescope, which will, in very high precision, uh, after it launches in 2018, will study this system and others like it to look for evidence of an atmosphere in the light of the planet as it passes in front of the star. In that light that passes briefly through the atmosphere, scientists may be able to pick up telltale signs of an atmosphere, including signs of water. That'll be the next big step on this system in later part of this decade. And how close together are all of these new planets? Oh, they're very close together. Scaled to our solar system, they're all packed well inside the orbit of Mercury. It's, um, it's a very cozy little system. They're all uh, orbiting their star one, two, uh, four, uh, out to about 20 days. It's a very small, tight, compact system compared to the Earth, which goes around every 365 days, or Mercury every um, uh, on, on a much shorter period than that. And why is it important to know that life is out there? You know, I think what we like to say uh, amongst our team here is that uh, we're exploring a galaxy of world, uh, galaxy of worlds while inspiring our own. And there's something about the discovery of other planets like Earth that could potentially support life that I think is very inspirational to all of us at NASA and I think everybody on this planet. Thank you for joining us here on TRT World, Gary Blackwood.